Okay, so today we're going to run through the installation of Kodi 18. Um, so it's still in RC stage at the moment. So um, if you're not familiar with this um, or you want something a bit more stable, then uh, stick with Kodi 17. But for those that want the latest and greatest, um, and then in my opinion, it's, uh, it's quite stable. It's not crashing, so um, it's quite safe to install. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna run through the installation of the latest versions and then how you can um, set up your nightly downloads that you need to run to get the latest. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to log on to our installation. We're going to make this uh, a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. So the first thing that we want to do is to, um, we need to download and install the latest um, public certificate. So to do that, we want to do a wget minus q o, that's a capital O, minus http. Dev GMC eighteen. Pipe that into um, sudo at key let add. Now what that does is that actually does the installation. So the first part is uh, downloading the key, uh, and the second part is uh, actually installing it. So once that's done, uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to edit our sources list. Um, now you can either use Nano um, or Vi. I, I use Vi, I prefer it. Um, but again, we want to run this uh, as a sudo command because we're not actually logged in as root. We've got root logins disabled, and I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to allow root login, so I'm just going to use sudo for that. And I'm going to use Vi to edit the file. what we're going to do is we're going to leave all of these as they are but we're going to um, add the new repo so to get to the end of this line here I've done a shift A which takes me to the end I'm going to drop it down to now doing a shift A automatically puts you into uh, modify mode so I'm going to add the repository in now So that's it. Uh, just make sure that you've got it entered correctly. Looks good to me. And then do escape to come out of modify mode. Uh, and then colon WQ for right quit. Uh, exclamation mark is force. So that's that bit done. Now the next thing is we need to update our repos, make sure they've got the latest information. So to do that, again another sudo command, we're going to run apt get update. Take a few seconds while that downloads and updates. Okay, so that's completed. Once that's completed, there's only one other step that we need to do, and that is to um, to actually update the distribution. So to do that, 
we're going to run another sudo command and we're going to do get dist upgrade now that will upgrade the uh, osmc um, version with uh, to the latest Kodi 18 now what you will see happening let's just run that and I can talk you through that while it's doing it is um, if you've got your installation open on your TV you will see the screen go blank once it's installing um, and then there'll be a couple of reboots um, until that's uh, um, fully installed so you want to say yes to this operation here and this will take um, five minutes or so So that's downloaded everything, um, now it's just going to unpack it all and it will then install.
So this is the point where uh, your screen will go off, you'll see some updates on your installation on the TV or monitor that you've got connected to your Kodi install. Nothing to worry about, It'll just, it's just running through the uh, upgrade in the, in the background. And that's it completed. So um, the next thing you want to do is to give your device a reboot. You just enter the command reboot. Um, that will then reboot the system and start everything for you. Now you'll see the system reboot that will then come back online um, you don't need to go through all of the configuration options again on your build um, and it will boot up and you will have the latest Kodi version that's all there is to it if you've got any questions please leave me a message under this video and uh, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe thanks a lot guys cheers